What's going on everyone, Levi here. Uh, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna mill some future black walnut coffee tables. Uh, there is one log specifically that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna take a look at it. After that, we're gonna dig it out of the pile. All right guys, so there is the widest part of the log. Uh, it's a pretty short log. As you can see, um, unfortunately, it's probably only about four feet long or a little bit less. Diameter of the log, let's see if I can do this while I'm holding the camera. So at the widest, so at the widest we're looking at um, 25, 26 inches, somewhere in there, probably 25 inches, it's gonna lose the bark. So really a nice looking log. I think the other end is probably going to be just over 20 inches wide. Um, really, really excited about this log. Of course, I wish it was longer, but uh, let's dig it out and then we're gonna get to milling it.
first of all, that saw is incredible. Uh, Steel MS 881. Used to mill with my 661 a lot. Um, I do a lot of the more narrow stuff, stuff like that. Narrow stuff over there with the 661 20 inch bar, but anything really 20 inch diameter or larger, I do with my 881 and that side just rips. Um, overall six slabs, two of the slabs broke apart. That's okay. That's what epoxy's for. Um, the bottom slab on the right stack uh, may break, break apart, may not, is what it is either way. We got some really nice wood out of that log. Um, definitely thinking coffee tables, river, co river coffee tables with the two that broke apart. Uh, really, you can do so many different things with these. Um, stay tuned for the water pop. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Thank you.